And noise pollution is not just hard on your ears, on your nerves. According to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, animals and people who are exposed to frequent loud noise have higher rates of heart disease, including high blood pressure, stroke, and heart failure. It can be simple stuff. A seemingly unnoticeable noise from a baby monitor or eating a vibrating cell phone in the middle of the night. To more obvious stuff like a pounding jackhammer or bumper to bumper traffic outside your home and office. All of it can trigger your brain's fight or flight response, which releases adrenaline and stress causing hormones that cause damage to the heart and blood vessels over time. The medical community is beginning to notice the magnitude and long-term effects that noise has at the cellular level. Hospitals are beginning to enforce quiet hours, install soundproof walls, and move areas of congregation away from patient care. You can minimize the risk of noise pollution in your life by identifying and controlling the source of noise in your home and work. For example, is noise being created by kids and pets running across the floor without carpeting? Or that banging heating unit needing repairs? Are you unplugging, relaxing, and recovering from the chaos you've been exposed to during the day? Also, hold your cities and counties accountable when it comes to the noise pollution you can't control outside, like noisy construction projects. And we could all use a little more peace and quiet. Rose Belts for Creme 2 News.